I'm here with Roboto from Savanini and we are here next to your machine. Uh, how have you found the trade fair today and yesterday? What does the reception mean like? Okay, trade fair was pretty good yesterday. We had a lot of uh, new potential customers that came to visit us and they saw the first time the machine in Thailand. Everybody was very impressed and the, the feedback for me was uh, good, not in terms of number, but in terms of quality of the people who came to see our machine. Today was a little bit quieter, but still we had some uh, new potential contact. So overall, I'm quite satisfied about the exhibition. Uh, what sort of companies are approaching you? Uh, what do people want to use this machine for? Yeah, there are uh, many companies that are, are subcontractors, so they produce parts for uh, other customers. Some companies have uh, their own production and uh, they are interested to develop their own products to match the specification of this machine. So to upgrade the design in order to make it feasible on our new machine. Okay, and... Can you explain about the machine? What does, what does it do? How does it do it? Of course. This is a, this baby machine that we have in our uh, family. It's an automatic panel bender. So it means the machine can start from a blank that has been uh, punched or cut on the laser machine. And this machine can do the folding on the four sides. It's a full CNC machine. So it does not require any kind of tooling or setup. Just the operator should uh, prepare the program, load the machine, click the button, and the machine will do all the bending. Okay. And so what are the specific benefits of this machine versus machines from other companies? This machine gives several advantages. First of all, it's an automatic process of bending, so there's a high consistency of the quality, speed, human factor is cut out, I mean there's no human factor in the, in the quality of the products because being the process controlled by the automation, all the parts are exactly the same, but the biggest advantage is the flexibility. One machine and one tool can do any kind of parts. Okay, what, what type of parts can you make with this? Okay, the, I can say which are our, the businesses we are most successful. We have a big company building electrical cabinet, any kind of enclosure like office furniture, we can have elevator, elevator industry, so we know that the elevator is made of uh, mainly stainless steel. Then there are uh, lighting fixtures, the lighting fixture industry is another big company because the box in the lighting fixture is made of uh, sheet metal. So really, catering equipment, stainless steel, kitchen furniture, all our uh, target customers. Right. And this is the first time you've been to this fair in Thailand? Yeah, the first time Salvani joined any fair in Thailand. We have been quite successful in the whole uh, region in Asia, in all the countries. Also in Thailand we do have already machine installed, we do have customer, but this uh, exhibition hopefully will boost more our uh, presence in Thailand for future. Uh, so how many of these machines are you aiming to sell in Thailand in the next couple of years? A lot. A lot. Of course, a lot. At the moment we have a population of about 10 machines in Thailand already running, but we aim to at least consider some interesting number should be to between 5 and 10 every year. And what other Southeast Asian countries are you focusing on? Okay, we have a branch in Malaysia, so that's the country Southeast Asia where we have been more successful, where we have more than 30 machines installed and running. Okay, but of course also Indonesia, Vietnam are uh, in, our, uh, in our range. It means we have already machines installed everywhere. And uh, myself, uh, personally, I'm also following the, following the market in India, which is uh, growing very, very rapidly. So, Southeast Asia is a potential market. If economy keep going to be strong, people are in need of automation and they want to improve the products, Salvanini is the right answer. Right, and... So, how many, how many people have come to look at this machine so far and, and expressed real interest? Okay, uh, in terms of curiosity, a lot of people coming to see this machine because they've never seen this machine before and this machine looks a little bit like magic <laughs> because it can do everything by itself. Yeah. People know that to bend the parts is always a manual process but with this machine it's fully automatic. So I believe every, everyone that came from that door will stop and look after our machine. But in terms of uh, serious inquiry, probably say in the, next, the first two days we had uh, about uh, 20 companies, yeah. which I do, know, I do not know how long it will take to make the decision, but they are all absolutely impressed about the 
features of this machine. Could you explain to me what the machine is doing right now? Okay, uh, if you want, I make the operator load one part yeah. and then uh, we can uh, see the machine bending that part. Okay, okay? Okay. 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 okay, so we have the machine running here and can you talk, talk us through what it's doing right now? Yeah, basically, we have loaded on the machine a uh, punch blank and now the machine is folding the four sides of the panel. Mm -hmm. This is a part we use for uh, demo and exhibition. Yeah to show the machine capabilities. So we fold four different profiles on the four sides of the rectangle. So we can see that uh, regardless the fact that we are using the same singular tool, the machine can bend different kind of profiles. Right. You can see it, how fast and uh, how accurate it is. Yeah. And how, how, how long have you been developing this, this machine? Uh, this machine, the first uh, ever machine designed in 1977. First model, first model and then we keep going developing this machine since that time okay and what are the most recent developments you have with this machine this machine is the most recent they we call p2xe is a hybrid machine so everybody try to be more environment friendly these right. times so we try to reduce the power consumption of the machine right. make it faster and make it better of course and how do you how have you reduced the power consumption yeah we replace some of the hydraulic uh, movements with the servo motor movements mm -hmm. that are much more efficient right. and so accordingly we have reduced uh, on this model about uh, 20% the power consumption compared with the previous one right and how many different models do you have that you are currently selling? We have uh, several machines uh, from cutting by laser, fiber laser. We were the first company to launch the fiber laser worldwide, right. which is a new technology. Then we have punching and shearing system. And then we have several models of bending machine of different size with different uh, sort of uh, automation. So the basic machine is this one. The operator is loading and unloading the parts uh, manually. And then we have machines that are fully automatic. That it's everything done by the machine. Right. And is this your biggest machine or? This is, I said at the beginning, is the baby machine. Baby machine. It's the okay. smallest bending machine right. we have. How big is the biggest one? The biggest one can, uh, just to have uh, an idea of the size, yeah. this machine can bend a maximum part of 2,180 millimeter. Right. The biggest machine can bend uh, parts of 3,800 millimeters. So right. just slightly less than four meters long. Right. And how much is how much you is this machine how much does it cost a budget price for this machine is around uh, half a million euro half a million euro. yes uh, do you do any special trade fair discounts or is this, this just machine normal price has been already sold to a customer so this machine is not so a this machine is sold to machine yeah. a customer in Nontaburi right so this machine will be installed at Chai Jaroen in okay. Nontaburi and what will he be doing with this machine uh, this customer is a subcontractor so he already purchased a fiber laser from us first fiber laser in Asia yeah. about uh, one year ago and this is uh, the second machine so this customer should be extremely happy about uh, our company Right. And which machine are you, of your different types of machines you have, are you most focusing on selling at the moment? No, for us, uh, the, this is the core products because uh, on this machine we have uh, experience of more than 30 years. And uh, I will say we don't have any strong competitor on this range of, uh, of machine. But of course, fiber laser is also our uh, focus because this new technology is revolutioning the world of uh, laser cutting industry. And how have you developed this fiber laser? What's, what's new and special about this? A fiber laser, what is new, is the extremely low running cost compared with a conventional CO2 laser. Mm -hmm. Even in this exhibition, all the laser we can see are CO2 laser, right. which is a very well developed uh, technology. Mm -hmm. But today, with the new fiber laser technology, we can reduce uh, dramatically the running cost of a laser cutting machine. For instance, if I compare a two machine with a similar performance, CO2 and fiber laser, I would say the fiber laser has got more than 70% power consumption saving, faster cutting speed on the thin material, new possibility because one of the problems of the laser cutting is that when the material is highly reflective, the laser beam instead than cutting will bounce back into the machine, destroying it. But thanks to the new fiber laser beam, which has got a much shorter wavelength compared with the CO2 laser. Reflectivity of the materials uh, is less, so we can cut also new material like copper, brass, yep. that are impossible for any CO2 laser machine. Right, okay. So basically, low running cost, new possibility, because we cut different material, 
are the reason of the success of the fiber laser. And in less than two years, we sold more than 100 units. More than 100 In less than two years, yes. The first machine was installed uh, in May 2009, and today we have sold more than 100. Right. And, and the demand is really huge now. We really yeah. almost cannot cope with the, uh, with the demand. In Southeast Asia or the Asia Pacific region, which yeah. countries are you seeing the biggest growth from? Uh, in the okay, I would say in Southeast Asia, I would say that uh, Indonesia probably is the country that has got the most potential because it's uh, less developed than Thailand. It's a big in terms of population, and uh, also there are a lot of potential to develop new infrastructure, which in Thailand are quite developed already. So I see Indonesia a uh, very good potential. Vietnam for our technology is a little bit uh, at early stage. Malaysia is also a country where it's been uh, there, there was a, a developing in the past year, so I do not expect to grow further. And Thailand, of course, is a country already developed, but where our company was not so much successful in the past. So I believe with this exhibition and uh, looking after the interest of the people, I believe also Thailand could be a uh, potential. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for talking no to worries, us. No Good worries, luck at the fair. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank, so much. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye.